Hey everybody, a lot of you guys were asking me about different ways to dropship without just using AliExpress. So in this video, I'll show you different ways to dropship without just using AliExpress. And I'll show you four different ways to ship your products to your customers without just using AliExpress. But like, it's gonna depend whether you're trying to dropship or whether you're trying to build a brand. By the end of this video though, like I'll show you a winning product that I found that you can test on TikTok Organic. Cause you know, like TikTok Organic has been going crazy and my channel is just about TikTok Organic for now. So I'm gonna show you a nice product that you can use to basically test it. I'll show you how to market this product, like the pricing, how where to source it using the four different ways to dropship and just basically everything. So anyway, if you try to dropship the product, there's a few ways that you can do it. One of the ways that you can do it is if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of money. And by the way, like I recommend having at least like, like three to five thousand if you're trying to start e-commerce but if you don't have a lot of money you can use this and this is basically aliexpress drop shipping so some people when they first start out and this was me in the beginning like back in 2019 when i first started out i didn't have a lot of money and i wanted to make like money quickly with using e-commerce and drop shipping so what i did was i sold the product i got sales and i just drop shipped it but i didn't even use e-packet i used like the china shipping because it was free and so like bro like i was extremely extremely broke and i don't recommend this and i had a lot of angry customers at the time so if you were extremely broke <laughs> just like me back in the day, then you can use this. But just so you know, there is a cost to this and there's gonna be a lot of angry, angry customers. Your business is not gonna be sustainable. And I just don't really recommend it if you have like a little bit of cash. But if you're starting out, you can pick the free shipping, which is gonna take like two to three months, bro. Like it's gonna take a long time and you're gonna have like super angry customers, but it's gonna give you a cheaper cost of goods, which you can use to like to somehow pay your credit cards or pay whatever the rent or all that stuff. And when you're using this, I recommend staying on top of the emails, like being really, really on top of the emails because you'll be having a lot of angry, angry customers, right? And so you want to somehow find some excuse as to why the product is taking longer. And in some cases, you might just have to refund the people if they're like extremely, extremely angry. But again, I do not recommend this, but if you're just starting out and you have no cash, maybe you can do this. I don't know. However, if you do have a bit of cash, you can still use ePacket, which you can pay extra if it's not free. But even then, ePacket nowadays is taking a long time to ship, and I don't know why it's been doing that, bro. But like, you can pay for ePacket, and you'll have like a bit of less angry customers because it's not gonna take three months. So you can do that if you want. The other method is still using AliExpress dropshipping. And if you're lucky enough, you can search for the, your product on AliExpress and find a supplier that has a warehouse in the US. Like you can you can actually build a whole business on this, bro. If you can find your supplier on AliExpress that has shipping from the US and you're selling to the US, then their, their shipping is gonna be usually fast. But you have to make sure that the supplier is actually using USPS or UPS. And it says on the thing that is four to 12 days. Some of the suppliers, they fake this by saying like it, the seller's method and it's from the US, even though like it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna come fast. Like it's gonna take a long time and it's not even in the US. But if you find a supplier that has a USPS, or UPS, then you can use those and you can build an actual business on this if you're able to market your product properly. So if you're ever using AliExpress, I just recommend using a supplier that has a warehouse in the US. But again, if you're extremely broke, then you can still use AliExpress and pay for the cheaper cost of goods, which is like the free Chinese shipping that takes three months. But make sure you're on top of the customers. So anyway, this is the only time that you can use AliExpress if it has like a US supplier or if you're just extremely broke. The other method, which doesn't involve using AliExpress, and that is using something like CJ dropshipping or Spocket. Now, I'll be honest with you, bro. Like I have never ever used any of those two. I've looked into them and for some reason just never appealed to me, especially Spocket because Spocket has, their shipping is fast from what I've heard but like it's a bit more expensive. Like there isn't even a lot of products on the on Spocket, but if you can take a product from Spocket that has like a US supplier and build a business around it and then ship it, then yeah, it's gonna be good. Like I've never used it to be honest, but if you want then whatever. And the other method is CJ dropshipping. And that is basically similar to AliExpress and it has like a bit of faster shipping, even though it's not still as fast. Like some people are saying that they still dropship from CJ dropshipping. And their shipping was still long to the point their customers were not happy with it. Now, I've never used this, bro, so I don't even know how they are. But, like, I know their options because some of the people I know have used them. And they say it's, like, it's a bit better than AliExpress. So you can use it. You can test it. Because apparently they are slightly better than AliExpress. But the other method that I recommend using is using eBay dropshipping. And now, to be honest, some of the products that I sell, I found them on eBay to be cheaper on eBay than AliExpress. And their shipping was even faster too. So I don't know how that even worked. But if you go on eBay, you can actually find suppliers from the US, like they have actual warehouses in the US and they ship really fast. So for example, this is an eBay supplier that's shipping from the US and apparently like it's three day shipping for free. And that's actually, that's pretty amazing to be honest. Their cost is just $9. So usually people are selling this product for like $25, $30 and you can get it from eBay for $9. That's actually pretty crazy. But you have to look for a few criteria when you're drop shipping from eBay. So the first thing that you should be looking out for is the supplier needs to ship from the US and there is like there's a ton of them if you search for your product you should be able to find some suppliers that ship directly from the US so that's the first thing if they don't ship from the US then don't go with them but when they do ship from the US then that's amazing 
The other thing you need to be looking out for is the supplier needs to have at least 10 quantity in stock. And if they don't have 10 quantity in stock, then the supplier is not going to be as reliable as one that does have that because it just means that they're running out of stock. But if it says 10, then it means like they probably have more than 10 or just about 10. And if it does say they have 10, then it's a supplier that you can go with because they obviously have a lot of quantity. And the last criteria that you want to make sure to look out for is that it's not a branded product. And so when you're shipping a branded product, the brand can come up to you, bro, and they can tell you, why are you shipping our product? So make sure it's a it's a product that is that does not have a brand on, on eBay. But if you're trying to scale, like if you're getting a lot of orders and you can't just manually, manually fulfill everything yourself, make sure you actually contact the supplier on eBay and build a relationship with them. Like you can send them a file of your orders and tell them to ship it. And that way, like you don't have to manually fulfill each order yourself. And you're just building a nice relationship with the supplier that has a warehouse in the US using your product. So that's what I recommend the most if you're just starting out and you have like a little bit of cash and you're trying to get fast shipping just by drop shipping. I recommend using eBay. I don't even recommend AliExpress anymore. A, a lot of people don't even actually talk about using eBay to dropship on YouTube. Like I've only seen a few people that actually talk about this, but consider yourself lucky that you're hearing this now. <laughs> and then the next method is using agent. Now this is where you hire an agent and you bring it to your site and they see every order coming and they they fulfill the orders. They put the, the tracking number onto the orders. And the way to find an agent is you can go on Upwork and literally like put an ad for an agent or you can look for agents themselves there. Or you can even search up on Instagram. Like the agent that I found for me was, I just searched them up on Instagram and I found them there somehow. But make sure when you're drop shipping from an agent, you tell them to use DHL shipping or USPS shipping or 4PX shipping or UN Express. The first time when I started working with an agent, it was taking a whole month and it's because they weren't using any of those shipping. Then the last method is when you get in contact with suppliers from Alibaba and you just basically build a relationship with them. And from there, like I can't really guide you because from there, you it's just you and the supplier talking to each other and you're telling them what to ship and like depends on their shipping time and everything. So the last method is Alibaba. Contact suppliers, make sure you contact them with like a bit of authority. Like you're actually an owner of a brand is going to go somewhere. And this one, I actually feel like it's the most valuable because from there, you can move on to start building a brand. Now, if you're building a brand, you can still use an agent if they're able to do custom packaging and put your logo on it. But if, you're, if your agent doesn't do that, then you can obviously contact the Alibaba suppliers and start using like a 3PL. There's a few options when it comes to 3PL. One of them is ShipBob. The other one is Dollar Fulfillment. There's another one I think called Ship Fusion. Now, honestly, I've never used any other 3PL except ShipBob. For some reason, I've been stuck with them. I don't know why, but they've been serving me well. Like they've been actually doing pretty good, but I, ne I just never took the time to go to another 3PL because again, like this one has been good for me. But this one is good when you're, when you're actually building a brand because they're gonna have your product on hand in their warehouse and it's gonna have your logo, it's gonna have your custom packaging and they're gonna be shipping the product really fast. So if if you see that your product or your store is actually getting pretty consistent sales and you see that the brand is going to be like you can take it somewhere then you can use this use something like ShipBob, use something like dollar fulfillment and you can just go on google bro like you can search up 3po and you can find whichever one that you like and stick with it but if you're trying to build a brand and you don't want to be shipping your product to an, a, a different warehouse then you can ship the product to your house and if you have siblings then you can put them to work, bro. You can make them start to fulfill your orders for you. Like as soon as orders come in and you have the product in your house, you can make them fulfill it and just basically do all the work for you at home. If you don't have siblings, you can do this yourself. I've seen a lot of people actually find success through having the product in their in their house and they're, they're, they just ship it themselves. So if you actually don't mind that, then I recommend that. But anyway, so these are the ways that you can drop ship or you can build a brand without using AliExpress. I don't think I've missed any of them, but let's move on to the winning product. So this winning product, I found it on TikTok. I was just going on like those TikTok, maybe buy it, those Amazon finds, all those things. And I found this product and it's basically a smart notebook. So all it does is just basically you write this, this the stuff that you want to write on it and it gets like uploaded to your phone. And so you have access both on your phone and in person. And it's apparently erasable. Like you can just erase with it. You don't need like an eraser. So it's pretty cool. Like the future is actually pretty cool. Now the person I would be targeting that would buy this product is just basically university students or college students. And so the big idea behind this is that writing things down using your own hand actually retains your memory more. So this is something I found that, that even for me, like when I actually write things down, I start to remember things more. And when I, when I don't write them down, I don't remember them. But the problem that sometimes when I write things down, I lose the paper and I can't find the paper and I'm like, where did my notes go? But this product, it actually uploads your thing to the phone. And most of the time we're always on our phones so we can actually just review the stuff that we wrote in person 
on our phone. It actually just, it retains your memory a lot. So your big idea is that writing things down by hand retains memory by a lot. Like there are studies on this. And I don't think I, I, I didn't actually go on through the studies, but there are studies that show that writing things down using your hand increases your memory by like 12%, 15%, 80%. I don't know, but you'll find the numbers yourself. And I did find this product on eBay selling for $30 cost of goods. So you can come in and sell it for $45. And if you're using TikTok organic, then you'll basically have a $15 profit margin, which is fine. But if you want to go the AliExpress route, I found it actually for $25 so you can sell it for $45 and you can source it for $25 and you'll have $25 and you'll have $20 profit margin and if you have an agent then you can ask your agent to source it for you and most of the time it'll be also in between like 25 to 30 but you're pricing it for $44.95 and the big idea is that writing things down by hand retains the memory more so this is the product for you you should test it you should make the content for it on TikTok I'm not gonna guide you through the content because <laughs> that's on you bro but make sure you watch my other videos that show you how to make viral content and also as one last thing for the offer you can add like a pdf that shows you seven ways that help you retain memory even more and i just think this is actually a good offer and one of you guys should test it because it seems like a really really good idea for me at least so anyway i hope this helped i hope you start using one of the ways to dropship the product or to make a brand and i hope one of you guys is going to take this product and make it a winner make sure you actually like message me if you actually do make this a winner and give me a testimonial bro so anyway take care